When you set yourself on fire, the world will come to see you burn. Remember, it takes action to be inspired, which keeps the motivation to achieve your greatness. Let's get it started. Hey, y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Two Hands. Y'all, y'all, yee. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, just click the link in the description below titled Who is Mr. Two Ham to find out a little bit more about me and what my channel has to offer to you. But either way, welcome to the journey of greatness. Today's topic is about the lonely road of growth. I wanted to talk about this because I don't feel like it's spoken on enough. And if you've decided to make positive changes to benefit your life, I don't want you to give up on yourself. Because when you go from having no values or self-worth to believing in yourself and chasing your dreams, the support is not as strong as you initially expected. Then you start to doubt if what you're doing is even right and consider going back to your old ways. But don't, do not give up because there is light at the end of the tunnel. When you set yourself on fire, the world will come to see you burn. Some people will come with the hope that you'll be in agony and pain, that you'll be looking for a way out, that you'll fail at what you're trying to achieve. And then some people will come because they see you as their beacon of hope, the light at the end of the tunnel, a warmth so fulfilling it satisfies every part of their heart and soul. Which group do you want to attract more? Of course, the group that's there to support you. Now, for the group that's not there to support you, you have to remember that everyone has their own perspective on life based off of the experiences they've been through to this point. Your job is to remember your why and continue blossoming, not focus on the opinions of others. As you continue to grow physically, spiritually, and mentally, you come to understand that some people just prefer negativity. They love drama, the pity party, gossiping, putting others down, never supporting other people's ideas, always seeking failure, and that's okay. But is that who you want to be? If not, then this is when the tough decisions come. So I had a best friend of about 10 years or so. We did everything together. We traveled the world, our families was close, we went out all the time, you know, did all the things that best friends do. So, well, well, something happened. One day I decided I was tired of living below my potential and I wanted better for myself. Then I noticed some red flags. Uh, he didn't mind if you were doing good, just not as good as him. He always used material possessions to define his self-worth. He stayed living in the past, always talking about what used to be, never wanting to come to the present to, uh, on getting better today. And he would always compare himself to everyone in the circle but in a belittling sense, like they might be doing that, but I'm doing better. Now, I understood that in life, people think the way they do based off of the experiences that they've been through. So we would chat about having a positive mindset, uh, but he just didn't want to hear it. As long as he was doing better than everyone in the circle, he was good. In life, your circle of friends define how far you'll go. And I knew that having someone that close to me with that negative mindset was holding me back, whether I wanted to admit it or not. Now, I wasn't ready to let that relationship go. as so many years I put in, but I also was tired of not growing myself. And having that negativity so close to me was definitely hindering my growth. So I decided, you know, that we just couldn't be friends anymore. After that, my life skyrocketed. I mean, blessing on top of blessings. Everything was falling into place. A lot of us on this journey are experiencing these same situations, but unsure how to handle them because of the uncertainty of being alone. Well, I'll tell you, in the beginning it sucks, but there are people watching you, who believe in you, who want you to succeed, so that they can know how their life currently is doesn't have to be. So my friends, keep pushing. Your future self depends on it. Hey, if you enjoyed that content, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I got way more great content coming for you your way, and I welcome you to the journey of greatness. Also, comment down below, 
on something, if you're on this journey, something that you're struggling with or something that you've had to overcome so that way you can become your best self. Until the next time, two ham out.